God! What's going on YouTube and welcome to the Dragon Squad. I'm Ember the Blaze. I'm Glacier the Iceborne. And we're Reaction Dragons. If you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime and helps go full time. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thanks so much for the support guys. And I know what's on the menu for today, Glacier. I'm back at you with another brand new show that we're reacting to. It's Hellbound Season 1, Episode 1. Hellbound episode one, and yeah, after the last two, what we call, you know, K-dramas, the, the first two I've seen are, for lack of a better word, masterpieces, you know, Parasite, masterpiece, Squid Game, as far as I'm concerned, masterpiece. So they obviously know what they're doing, and I mean, just based on the trailers of Hellbound, it seems like they're gonna continue this trend. I believe one of the creators of this uh, had a part in Train to Busan, which we haven't seen yet, but I heard great things about that movie as well. From what I gather from the trailer, it seems like there's some kind of like cult organization, and I don't know if they're just like deciding who's guilty, who's a sinner, and they're they're sending these, these beast from hell to come give them the work but I mean filming filmmaking looks crazy the action looks crazy so I'm curious I just want to see uh, I want to see what's gonna go down but yeah with this show this is the third new show that we're trying out this week so if you guys want us to continue the show we really need you guys I'm there for the support with any kind of engagement whether it's likes subs comments um anything of course you know we want to have you guys in on it with us and take the journey with us and yeah if it, if it does really good as far as the numbers and numbers look good we'll definitely continue the show going forward but I'm ready as fuck because I'm, I'm super hyped I love K dramas now and can't wait to see what this one has to offer ready Glacier yep I'm going in here blind so can't wait to see what we're about to endure I'm ready all right guys and as usual just take a couple seconds hit the like button down below the impressions do lead to more views and if we do continue this show you will catch the early reactions uh full length watch alongs on our patreon um shout out to our existing patreon we love you guys and with that being said let's fucking go that day i got some crazy shit's gonna go down <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. what those big ass beast things are? Yep. Oh, shit. Shit. Boom. Boom. Hammer smash? Good God. That's the right thing. I hope they can just do this with CGI. Yeah, I don't want to hear this shit. It's all CGI. Shit. Damn, it reminds me of the. You probably don't know if you've seen it. It's a horror movie called The Countdown. This guy looks like he's waiting for. Those like, things will show up. There's a countdown, you download it, and it tells you when you're gonna die, what day and what time exactly. That's pretty much what this guy looks like. He's yeah. like, oh, shit. As soon as it hits 120. Yep. God, let's see if they show up. Who gives him that, like, judgment? That's why he's in a public place. I'll yeah. be here, too. Oh, no. Damn, everybody can hear him coming. Like, yeah, public place ain't gonna save you, buddy. Oh, oh shit! shit. They're gonna, they're gonna kill innocent bystanders in the process. Is that real enough for you? Oh no. Damn, they look real froggy. Not oh, wanna kill him. Oh, God shit. damn, Haymaker. Damn. Run. Fucked him up. Get the fuck out of my way. So they just like go after targeted people. Yeah, move. God, they're so angry. That's who, I bet the NFL would wanna hire them. Yeah, three linebackers right there. <laughs> Super Bowl bound. Oh my god, that's terrifying that they run Jesus. it. Jesus. It's not like, I'm thinking like Jason or Michael Myers, where they're walking, they look at the wall. No, they're sprinting. Well, we have enough of your shit. What the hell did he do to deserve this, though? Yeah, that's not a good idea. Get the fuck out of there. Oh my god. Oh, he's dead. Fuck. Yeah, you're dead. God. Oh my god. Ruthless. Uh, like some quick death. You know, we want you to feel this. Alright, now we're done playing with our food. God! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Oh. And they're gonna beat your ass? Oh my god, oh, ripping his stuff. guts out. Oh, oh shit. shit! God damn! And then we'll take your soul. Oh no. Send you straight to hell. Pretty much we'll kill you, and then as you're dying, we'll. Right when you die, we'll take your soul. That's what we're doing. Alright, work's done, boys. We'll go back to our hell portal until someone else wants to smoke. Gosh. That <laughs> guy got work, bro. I'll burn his I ass. Thought, the way the trailer did it, I thought he just showed it like, you know, burned his ass. I don't know they're gonna beat the fuck out of him. No, we're gonna beat you, rip your guts out, and then take you to hell. Like, so maybe there'll be a cop or somebody tries to figure this shit out. Like, who's behind this? Yeah. You can't arrest them. What the fuck are you gonna do with those three things? Like, I'm under arrest. That's cute. How about I bash your face in? <laughs> Okay, hung over or something? Yeah, 
Cecilia. Why are you the one that like they were watching the video clip of that guy, Jung Jin Su. Mind your own business. Look up for Just bring it in. Yeah, read him. Don't forget to read him his rights. Once we have it in custody. If shit something happened to him, probably lost somebody. Probably, uh, yeah, something probably happened to him. Or he just feels like the soul sucked, or he sucked out of him. Yeah, like, you can't take my soul. I'm already dead inside. <laughs> yeah, gosh. <laughs> There's a YouTube channel. Yeah, Jung Jin Damn, five hours. Oh, he's a serial killer. So that's just getting judged like bad people. Yeah, I'm just frauding myself. Damn, Pablo, is that you? Robbery and theft. Damn, some of these are really bad, and some of them are like, I mean, they're all bad, but like. Damn, pretty much no excuses. I don't care if you had a hard childhood. You still have free will to do the right thing. Gosh. What about people that actually have mental disorders? I mean, Fry, like they show one guy burnt to a crypt. He stole a candy bar from 7 Eleven. Oh, he still got the smoke. <laughs> what I was saying, some of this is like just robbery, he said. But maybe it sounds, maybe it's worse than the way he sounds. He's probably just summarizing it as like the crime itself, where they robbed an old lady or some shit. Oh. Daughter? Yeah, okay. Yeah, he definitely doesn't want his daughter hanging around this guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's sad. Why? Ah. Yeah, that's Oh, the vultures will take care of my body, is what he's thinking. Yeah, those eat me. Like, literally eat me. <laughs> oh shit, he found their hell portal. He just walked up on him. Damn, walked right up on him. Like, who the fuck are you? Damn, didn't kill him though. No, he's not on the list. Smoking a fool. See, the crazy thing is, it must blast be limited to whoever's calling the order though. I mean, it's clear not him because he walked in on this shit's already been going on, so it's like, who's the, at the head of it? Ooh, watch it. Oh, that's what happened. Maybe the killer got away, so he doesn't believe in this shit. See, yep. Damn, got out and just yeah. walked out. Yeah. See. Like, don't you wish this, that God came down and actually properly judged him? And what if the angel tells you what you've been judged on to? Like, hey, you're dying in five hours, you're dying in six days. Yeah, like, they even tell you the why. Or he's like, I'm sorry, you know what you did. No, you know what you did. You can repent and you can find out why you did it. That's why Kyung Young probably doesn't believe in God because he's like, well, if God exists, then why did you let my wife get murdered and why let the killer get away? So he's the head, he's the head of the arrowhead. I mean, a flashback of what happened? He probably just found her body and see what happened. I know you don't want to see this. God. That's rough. Hey, sorry, can I it's probably you? bad. She probably got mutilated. God. <laughs> At least she would have, hey, it could have been worse. You could have showed up and she could have been burnt. You know, the homies got her. It means your wife was doing some dirty. Lighten. 10 years, that's it. Oh, it's him getting released. 
Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Batman, like when Bruce Wayne goes to the courthouse. Oh, yeah. I was about to get some street justice. Damn, the detective does come in. Yeah. And they must be close. Damn, that's rough. That's that. See, that's the beauty of cinema. Like, even if it's in a different country, that shit hits, like, yeah. on a universal scale. That's tough, man. It reminds me of Law Abiding Citizen, too. Yeah, I was about to say that. Dan, you didn't even finish the whole ten years. Six years. What the fuck? Do you have Johnny Cochran or something? Like the Korean Johnny like, Cochran? She the next victim? Was it zooming on her? I'm making an honest living. I got my food truck. Hey, good kid. Let's go. You're still up too? That's how you get away with getting that going to bed late. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's Angel. Right yeah, kids. God. He's recording it. Fuck. Oh, birthday? No. What a fucking asshole. Wow. I'll give you five days. That was like no angel brother. Only a demon that showed up and tell me I'm about to die. Yeah, like an angel of death. <laughs> You shouldn't be trying to arrest the, those people. Yeah, I want to know what he did. Yeah. Damn, he's all about that new truth. Yeah, he's with the arrowhead. So my thing is, like, is it is it just in this general area? Or is it all over the world? Background looks cool. I mean, he's got a good set piece for his little YouTube channel. What kind of drugs is this motherfucker yeah. taking? Yeah. Damn. Kill him on the channel? Arabic? Pretty much like being the judge and executioner. God. Oh. Jesus. Oh, wow. God. God. You're just giving his opinion. I'll beat his ass like that? So is he the head of the arrowhead or is he just part of it? He's just like a mouthpiece for the arrowhead. Damn, so they took that dude that was giving his opinion and shit, beat his ass like, no, you're going on the right path. We're going to beat the fuck out of you. It's interesting. Damn. So they let him live. Yeah. Oh, that was the, the one that you saw in the newspaper article? Yeah. I'm not that's kind of like their well, they probably they what they believe the, the in, and they use that a scapegoat maybe. Yeah, they go. We listen to Jung Jin Su and the New Truth and all that, but we actually put action. We don't just talk about it. Yeah, we think we save people. We put them on the right path. Yeah, pretty much. What the fuck did that lady do in the food truck? She seemed like she was on the right path. She was That's what I want to know. What she did shit. Oh, this is her. 안녕하세요. 제가 some crazy shit happening on my birthday. 지옥에 가게 돼서. Like, you know what I mean. Like, you know, all the shit's been going on. Oh, her son's video. Oh, you can see it on the video, too. Damn, I wonder if she talked directly to Jung. This is a flashback to her showing the new truth? I don't know. God! That's so fucked up. We would like to be there and record it. We can't help you that you're fucked, but can we record you? Damn. It will go viral. It's the good news. She's probably looking for help, though. Damn, cold-blooded. Damn, I thought you had, like, some type of good in you. Asshole. Damn. Uh, God, this worse. Him the arrowhead really just as bad. Holy shit. All right, Hellbound, episode one. Glacier, what you think? Uh, very entertaining as far as an action standpoint. The acting's there too. I mean, all of the films, I haven't seen Parasite, so I'll have to go back and watch that. I like the action, like right off the bat, we got it. It's pretty much from the trailer. Like I said, in the trailer, they gave me the impressions that he just, they caught him, they burn his ass. Another friggin' Donkey Kong stomp his ass, like, smash the guts him. out of him, literally. Like, beat the fuck out of him. Like, they could have just killed him from the get go when they were in the coffee shop. 
You gotta just up, oh, burn, move. No, we know we're just gonna play with our food. We're gonna make you feel all this pain, and then we'll burn you to crisp and send your soul to hell. Who's pulling the strings? Is it a human being? Is it in fact so-called God, as they're saying? Is it not God? Is it a demon? That's if I had to guess, I would say there's somebody at the very top that has some kind of maybe like some kind of religious relic that's cursed. And he yeah. can just pretty much summon this angel death to pray. And once he summons that angel, the angel pretty much passes judgment or what they say, the decree, where like they're bound for hell because of whatever crime they committed. And then from that point, it goes to the smoky homies and they finish and give them the word. Because my thing is, once you find out what these, see, it's either random target sinners and it's to help influence either the Arrowhead or what was the other one? The New Truth. The New Truth, someone in those, one of those organizations. Maybe I mean, more just, so the Arrowhead or maybe someone in a, or another organization we haven't got, but I feel like those two organizations are helping whoever else is doing it. That's my yeah. thing, is it random? Sinners just to help influence this whole this whole God push, this righteousness, or do all these people have some type of connection? Like, oh, I'm killing this lady. She's a sinner, but she also fucked this person over that's related to me and this and you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they all have like some kind of vendetta against each of the sinners. Right, that's what I'm wondering. But it's been going on for like ten years. So how big of a vendetta do you have against these people? I don't know. <laughs> that's some <laughs> crazy shit. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it seems like from what I from what I gather, Jung Jin Su is like the leader of the new truth, where they're essentially just like it's more or less is a cult. It's like a religious cult, and he like because of his his situation where he pretty much just wanted to kill himself and then he actually saw firsthand the the smoky homies pretty much burning a body and and uh that kind of like gave him a new look outlook on life but he was he already had like such a dark outlook on life he's like i just i don't have no point in life i just want to die and this that, and the other so it doesn't surprise me knowing that that he just doesn't give a fuck he can just like look at somebody with a straight face like um park that one lady that got decreed right in front of her kids on her birthday she That's goes crazy. to him for help and he's like sorry i can't do nothing for you you're gonna die but do you mind if we film it i want to smile at you i'm gonna do live broadcast like he has no remorse it's like my thing is like you know like some everyone believes something different i know there's some part of the bible where well you're sin, you go to hell but there's also the people that say well if you ask for forgiveness then you're you're straight so is it the same thing like smoky homies come hey man I asked for forgiveness, you're like, no. I, I think once the smoky homies come, it's pretty much too late for your ass. Maybe like they get, when they give you that deadline that you're gonna die in five days, maybe at that point you can maybe repent. That's what I wanna see if someone can get out of that. Cause, and also I want to see like how bad these crimes are because I, I don't think it's like some shit like oh like where it's like Jung oh you stole a candy bar from 7-Eleven we decree you you're gonna go to hell they must have I mean they talk like when Jung was doing the slideshow he was talking about oh this guy committed arson this guy was a, a pedophile child trafficker this guy had, we found yeah. bodies buried in his backyard so I'm sure a lot of them are like heavy ass crimes like heavy sin but I want to know what the first guy I think his name is Jew what did he do the first guy that got it in the like the coffee shop and then as far as Park I want to know what the hell she did because she seems like a nice lady I mean she seemed like she was like kind of down on her luck like maybe she didn't have a lot of money so maybe she like stole money or did some some kind of crime that yeah. embezzle money she's running her business she's a single mom on her birthday bro you could at least show up the day after that's all i'm saying you gotta show up the day after like we don't give a fuck you shouldn't commit on the day where my kids are celebrating you're gonna come here now but in a way it's good because she they came then and the little boy got on video and i don't know what the fuck they're gonna do about it they can't like i said they can't put any of these demons under arrest but at least it maybe will at least give yeah. them warning of like if they can find a pattern, who are they going to target? The lead detective thinks he's like, you get them, bring them in. We'll decide if they're here. Yeah, I was like, are you serious, bro? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you're reading his random up for that shit. I ain't calling arrest. I'm going to arrest that guy. It was like 10 Ray Lewis's combined together on steroids. Yeah, if Ray Lewis was from hell, sure. <laughs> and then it's crazy because we get our main guy, the cop, uh, Kyung Young. We find out that, because I was kind of wondering, like, he was like too nonchalant. Little lady came into work drunk, he didn't give a fuck. And then when the yeah. main detective is like, oh, you, you sure you don't want to take your time off? I was like, oh, you probably lost somebody. When he said that, see, I didn't know if he was just playing, like, you know, the cool detective kind of. He just, he, he played me out like a recovering alcoholic or some shit. Yeah, like. or something like that, or he's just like, whatever. Like, you know, like, just. Whatever on the job, I'm the cool guy, and then you find out like, oh, it's something deeper. He probably was a whole, totally different person before that happened. Yeah, and it's sad to see that like he pretty much found his wife murdered, and then the guy didn't even do his full term. He, he didn't even get life in jail. He only got ten years, and he didn't, he didn't have to serve all the ten years. He got out in six. So it's and like I don't know why he did it because they were questioning him. He didn't answer anything. Yeah, we don't know, and we don't know if that's connected to the broader scale of the story. But it's like I get where he's coming from because he probably doesn't believe in God. He's like, well, God exists, and he would have. Why would my my innocent wife get murdered for no reason, no rhyme or reason, and there's no judgment on the guy? And and, yep. and Jung Jinsu was kind of playing to that, like, oh, so don't you agree? You should agree with what I'm saying because obviously it's God that's got to pass down the judgment because the laws of man didn't do anything. It didn't help your situation. All right, the guy's Roman got free. He has no remorse. And then that's why the daughter, um, He Jung, she pretty much wants to be a part of that new truth because she's probably hoping, oh, maybe we can somehow make a deal or communicate with these demons and have them target my mom's killer. Yeah, I, even though she hasn't gone out and said it, I think that's what her true motive is. Yeah, because that's pretty much the only hope she can hold on to. Otherwise, it's like, oh, I guess we just have to deal with it. We just have to live with the fact that the killer's going to live a normal life. You have to do that or you better hope 
I mean, it would be different if it was, um, the hell's the name in a law abiding citizen, Clyde or Clay. Or if Clyde was here, he would help you out. Yeah, he would give you that street justice. <laughs> street justice. Yeah, real quick. But then you have, like, the, as far as, like, the new truth and the airhead, I feel like the new truth, they were just pretty much giving, like, the gospel of, like, you have to live righteous, and this is, like, a message from God that you can, you have the free will, he gives you a right path, and it's your free will to follow that path. And then the arrowhead is pretty much, like, the muscle behind it. I don't know if they work hand in hand or if the arrowhead is just influenced by the new truth where they're pretty much like the muscle like, no if you don't walk the right path we're gonna break your legs and then we'll make you walk yeah, the right path like the they fuck, fuck out of here. like they beat the fuck out of that novelist guy that was like pretty much didn't believe in god and didn't believe any of the shit that's going on and they no. beat his ass and now now that the lawyer's involved i mean yeah i feel like she's gonna be a crucial part to it maybe her and young young can uh maybe work together and figure this out because she's the first one to talk to park other than when he, when she went to jung jinsu yeah i'm wondering if the guy with the skull in his head is he's not the leader there how do you think if he's just a big influencer? i think he's just like a big influencer that's an arrowhead activist or a radicalist or he whatever. Little, he's but like, he definitely has a huge like, We'll let him live. We'll let him go. Like he had, he called the shots for that scenario. But then again, the people that he caught were a bunch of youngins. So he's just inciting violence. Is pretty much what it is because yeah. he believes all in that shit. He's like, no, God's coming to judge. These motherfuckers need to pay. We're gonna every way. I got the information in Jew. Look up his name. Let's find out what kind of sins he committed. And I mean, like they're public. saying too. Like if you're going by God, then it's like you're passing judgment. But that's how you know. Like maybe if the arrowheads are involved or not, because as soon as like a smoky motherfuckers show up and kill one of the like arrowheads, then it's like on, like, oh, hey, you're passed down judgment because you guys are sinning because you're fucking- Yeah, that's how we'll find out, like if they are like answering just like a supernatural power and there's no like human pulling the strings. Yeah. Because yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that commit horrendous crimes in the name of God. So it's yeah. like, they are being hypocrites. So they're like, so they're talking about sin, this and that, but you're committing the ultimate sin by killing people in the name of God. It's like- You're beating the fuck out of him. Like, I mean, you could've killed him, you could've beat him to death. I think, I don't, I don't think they were trying to kill him. They were purposely trying to beat his ass so he walks on the right path. And if you do, if you mess up next time, then we'll definitely kill your ass. But that's my thing, it's still attempted murder. Like, I wouldn't, you wouldn't be surprised if the I mean, they, was given, like, if you would've said somewhere on that list, attempted murder. Would've been nothing else, it would've been assault. Even if they didn't intend to kill him, it would've been aggravated assault. <laughs> which I remember one of the guys got charred out, but he said it, was, said it was for assault. So, charred I, I qualify as I would assume, the smoky homies don't care, like, all right, that works for me. I was wondering if maybe if they had the smoky homies show up, and maybe if you just, Give them food or have a video game that they like to play that maybe they'll leave you alone. Yeah, they're like, oh, this is a clean old PlayStation Xbox. Yeah, fuck you, try your eyes out. I think that they showed up here, like, bust down our door. I'm like, oh, hey guys, we're live, we're here, we're acting hellbound. We got, that's who we got, we'll turn hellbound. Smoky homies, smoky homies. Yeah, and Timmy, the smoky homies, like, oh, yeah, that's all great. Glacier, but I remember you stole a candy bar for 7 Eleven last week. Char your face off. And he goes, I remember you, Amber, you were talking shit about a character I didn't like you talking shit about, Azula. Like, no, does it qualify as a crime? It is. It judges, right. judges. Devil? No? Doesn't count? All right. All right, homie. Have a nice day. Glacier, come with me. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this is, I mean, I, I really like this show. I want to see where it goes. I just want to get to the bottom of, like, who's really pulling the strings of this supernatural or there is somebody behind it. But, uh, very great show. I, I expect nothing less from K-Drama. Final thoughts, Glacier? Yeah, final thoughts. I like the direction where it's going because it still makes you think, like, is it, a, is it supernatural? I mean, obviously it's supernatural, but is it fully controlled, like Ember said, by supernatural? Or is there a human being the puppet master controlling these supernatural events? Can't wait to see what's going to happen with it. Dragon certified. Yeah, I just feel bad for anybody that does get decreed, like with Park. I'm feeling there's nothing that's going to stop her from getting butchered. So it's just a matter of time we see her get beat the fuck up and then burnt to a crisp. But I guess it's a matter of like getting to the bottom of it. It's like a murder mystery with the supernatural aspect of it. So can't wait to see more. Dragon certified, fucking hit it. There you have it guys, another one in the books. The real question is, what you guys think in there in Drag Squad land? Without any spoilers, of course, like when you first saw this episode, it was your first knee-jerk reaction, like damn, someone's definitely pulling the strings behind this. Someone has like some kind of cursed relic, or do you honestly think this is just like some crazy supernatural act of God and there's just people that are just learn to accept it and, and go along with it and become religious and righteous? Or you think uh, Kyung Jung and Loy are gonna find some more, you know, sinister shit laying in foot? And question is, what else would you do if you knew the smoky homies were coming? Would you prepare an army to fight back at them? Or would you go, oh, one on one. And also, what do you think like the lightest crime that someone's committed and still got the smoky homie smoke? <laughs> Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, and join the Dragon Squad. Check out other videos in the link descriptions down below. And thanks so much for checking us out. Until next time, we'll see you next, next time. time.